Hi, hello, and welcome to Dallas Teleport Guy. Today, the objective is that you get out of here knowing how teleport works, how different positions of your teleports affect neutral, when it's good to set up a teleport, and various tricks that I've found that are gonna make you look super cool. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Teleport is a two part move. The first time you input quarter cycle backwards kick, Dahlia will throw a dolly, setting up for a teleport. The strength of the kick determines how far the dolly goes. Once you have a dolly out, you can input the same strength to teleport to it, or hold the button to fake a teleport. So let's say you input quarter cycle backwards medium kick. If you do quarter cycle backwards medium kick again, you will teleport. But if you do quarter cycle backwards heavy kick instead, you will throw a dolly instead. This is important since you'll be using this interaction to reposition your doilies mid-match. Like when you have a doily mid screen but you want one at the corner to threaten a cross up. Teleport's main and most consistent purpose is to get you out of trouble. If you feel like you don't have time to teleport, heavy counter and assist or a projectile reaction works as well. The second most common use is to convert from a mid screen throw meteorously, letting you save that sweet, sweet meter to <laughs> later commit some devious war crimes. You can set up a teleport after an empower heavy punch, after an unempower heavy punch, eye shot, barrel boom, throw, assist, hit on hit, or on block, heck, you can even do it in neutral with enough time. So, no excuses to not have one at the ready. Mastering teleport is a key part of Dahlia's game plan, especially high level play. But to master teleport, we must first understand our possible destinations. Now, notice how I didn't include the walls of the stage on this illustration. That's because we don't care about only position based on stage, or rather positions relative to our opponent. When teleporting, only three things matter. Can the opponent punish my teleport? Can I teleport behind them to cross the map? And how favorable is the position I'm going to? Can you find the teleport that doesn't check any of those three? Can you? That's right! Teleporting to number three means the opponent gets to punish us. And since it's in front of them, they don't have to worry about getting crossed up. But if we look at number five now, not only are we safe from being punished, we can also cross them up with bullets or assists. While number 1 only has the safe part, and number 4 only has the cross up threat. But even though they don't check both at the same time, they still have some utility. For once, number 4 is a cross up much easier to convert than number 5. And number 1 can be used to safely reset neutral after an opponent blocks our approach. The only two places where teleport does absolutely nothing are at number 3, which is unsafe and doesn't threaten a cross up and a number 2, which is useless since teleporting there would be like a moment special <laughs> without the movement part. With this in mind, you always want your dolly to land and stay behind the opponent. Now, Robert Green, what does it mean for us? Where do you explain all of this? It is important that you know of these 5 positions because you have always almost full control of where your teleport goes. Imagine we have a dolly at 5. If we play keep away, we can maintain that teleport in a desired place. And after using it, play keep away again will achieve the same result. If you pressure and gain space, however, that dolly will now become a number 4. So whenever your dolly is behind the enemy, you are enticed to play keep away. In fact, the dolly here is helping you get away from the enemy trying to rush you down, aka helping your keep away playstyle. But what if we have a dolly behind us? Then we wanna play rush down, and try to jump over the opponent to instantly make the dolly a number 5. If we back up too much, that dolly will come a number 2, aka useless. And again, that dolly is helping our rush down playstyle since we can now poke and reset neutral without risking being PVCG'd. See how boring how we pressure the opponent we can maintain or change an already placed dolly's position without replacing it? This will free us from the time of placing a new one, and the longer that dolly stays out of screen, the more likely our opponent is to forget about it making 2 HP setups the more scarier. Not to mention, you cannot really set up a dolly at 5 without being super close to them anyways, because heavy version doesn't reach that far. So to get a number 5, you could either use a heavy dolly toss and make the opponent approach you, or use a light toss and jump over them. Now, all of this is only achievable if you control the pace of the game. Against neutral heavy characters like Pico, Group of Fortune or Valentine, number 5 becomes much more hard to get or maintain. Thus the strategy evolves. Against characters that we need to catch, we will benefit the most from having a teleport exactly at the middle of the screen. This is what I call the seats position, the only position that's not relative to your opponent, but to the stage. It is an incredibly versatile position to have our dolly at, and in fact, if you don't have the mental capacity to keep up with where your dolly needs to go and how to make it stay there, I recommend you to just try and throw dollies there at the middle of the stage as this position will allow you to maintain the corner when the opponent tries to side switch, jumping over us or teleporting. 
but otherwise would have made all the efforts of pushing the opponent to the corner a waste, now becomes a slow push to the inevitable death. But even against rush downs, having a teleport that sits gives us an advantage, as we can use it to guarantee, no matter in which corner we are being pressured at, that we will be able to get away and reset neutral safely, essentially becoming a number 5 whenever we actually really need it to be a number 5. This is especially good against the likes of Parasol, who like to carry you to the corner and kill you on the spot. It also means you can now go for cross-ups that leave you in the corner without having to worry about what happens if you get blocked. I mean, it's pretty much a free grab of your card if you think about it. And if that still didn't sell you the seats position, having a double mid screen is like literally having a third corner where to throw your opponents after grabbing them to convert meters lead. It not only looks super cool when you do it, it also oh saves you meter. Alright, next page. Huh? What? Hey, no sleeping glass. Come on, you're gonna love what's coming next. Because coming up next is a trick I don't see many people use. You see, you might have tried doing teleport pass assist macro in the past, only to get a fake teleport. The way teleport works, it beats you from teleporting while an assist is being called. But what if the assist has already been called? If you wait long enough until the assist hits the ground, you'll be granted a teleport. Meaning, with slow assists such as local load or pinner, we can cross up our opponents in neutral or setups. This is incredibly powerful because unlike Balascancho, double flash step or peacock's teleport, Dahlia's teleport needs setup. Thus, it isn't something your opponent is gonna constantly look out for. This is what makes the fifth position so desirable, because it makes resets layer with an extra 50-50. <laughs> I've yet to see someone block this beast consistently, like I swear, it's so good. Now, not every assist allows for this. So I went through every assist to find the best teleport pass assist of the bunch. And out of all the assists, H North Knuckle, Seracopter, H Local Load and M Shadow stand out the most, especially since Dahlia loves this for already for other things. North Knuckle and Seracopter gives you full screen cross ups even against people on the air. Heavy Local Load kinda works full screen and it's super good for setups, including good damage. And M Shadow works almost full screen and it's incredibly good for setups, giving you a super easy time to convert. Now, these other assists will still let you cross up, but they are either worse assist options for their character or they don't do much else for Dahlia. So here's the list. Alright, let's recapitulate what we just learned. 1. We can convert throws by teleporting. 2. If we feel pressured, we can use teleport to get away, including heavy counter, but that only works depending on where the teleport is, so remember this illustration. 3. The most consistent teleport position on the stage is exactly at the middle of the screen, giving you a safe getaway from both corners. And 4. We can cross up enemies with assists as long as we wait for them to start doing their move and then teleport. Mastering the 4 will not only give you more defense but more offense and utility too. So, if you're trying to be the very best alien you can be, this is no leg day to be skipping. At the end of the day, this is all just theory. Until you start playing this in a real match, it's not gonna be doing any wonders for you. But until then, congratulations! You are now qualified in Dahlia's basic teleport theory. If you want to see more content like this, don't doubt to hit the noti bell and the subscribe button to get notified when I inevitably make more Dahlia content. And if you have any doubts, ask me in the comments. I read every single comment. Until then, see ya!